What's going on? What's going on? Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Ryan Lodi here coming to you live for a quick little insurance tip. Gonna be starting a new series here specifically tailored towards insurance agents and insurance business owners. However, the information, it could work in any profession or any industry. So hey, before I go any further, if you don't know me, I take full responsibility. My name is Ryan Lodi, building a nine-figure insurance agency and helping everyday Americans create a multiple six within their first year here at LC Financial Group. We're hiring salary positions as well as commission-based positions. DM me or DM any of my partners here at LC Financial Group. Make sure to check out the Life Podcast Today, I actually interviewed one of our partners, Mary Scordos, was an absolutely amazing podcast, and you guys should definitely go check it out on my page. I went live, and it will also be on my YouTube eventually as well. So hey, to get on with it, five-step process to maximizing your time as an insurance agent and as an insurance business owner, right? Because, hey, there's three subcategories of time. We're either one, creating time, we're using time, or we're managing time. Now, which is the best? Hey, it's creating time. Creating time by being effective with our time. So step number one is knowing what you want. Knowing exactly what you want, what you're looking to accomplish, what your goals and targets are, what your one-year, two-year, three-year, four-year, or five-year goal and target is and what you're moving towards, right? Because hey, if we don't have goals and targets, then we're aimlessly just taking action. We're aimlessly just moving forward without knowing, hey, did I hit a goal or a target? Did I meet the 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 goal line? Did I actually get to that next objective, right? So knowing exactly what you want, crystal clear, clearly defined, knowing what you want. Because when you don't have it clearly defined and it's not crystal clear, the less focused we're going to be. We're not going to have as much intentional focus than we could have when we know exactly what you want. So step number one is knowing what you want. Step number two is making a list. Make a list of all the actions and the activities of what you're going to have to do to achieve what you want. Making a list of what's important to you, making a list of the potential obstacles and the roadblocks and the adversity that could come up when you're moving towards your goals and targets. Because if you don't know what the potential obstacles or challenges or roadblocks that could come up, then you're not gonna be able to handle them as best as you possibly could. A lot of people say that it's not good to focus on the challenges or the roadblocks or the adversity. However, hey, if you don't focus on them and if you don't actually even to a sense know about them or if you're not conscious about them, then when they hit you, you're going to be totally thrown off. You're going to be totally surprised. You know, of course, there's going to be surprises with challenges and obstacles and roadblocks that you didn't apprehend coming. However, when you clearly define what the obstacles could be and might be, you'll be more on your toes, right? You'll be more apt to being able to overcome them. So make a list of what's important to you, the obstacles that you could, you know, potentially run into and make a list of the actions and the activities and the kind of like a roadmap of what's going to get you to where you want to be, what's going to get you to achieving what you want, your goals, your targets, your purposes, and your reasons. So number two, make a list. Number three, one of my favorite is take massive action. Relentless, unreasonable amounts of action. When many people are only calling X amount of clients in a day, hey, multiply that. Do double the amount, triple, four times the amount of calls. When individuals, insurance agents are only getting X amount of leads a day or a week, hey, double that, triple that add more to the plate 
Put more pressure on yourself, good pressure on yourself and raise your level of activity, raise your level of taking action. Because the more action you take, the better you're gonna feel about yourself. And the better you feel, the more that you're gonna be willing and able to do. So when you start taking massive action, it's gonna be a little bit abnormal to you. It's not gonna feel, you know, it's not gonna feel right because many people and many individuals in this universe are not taking massive action. So when you start doing it, it's gonna feel a little off. However, once you continue to do it on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis, hey, it's gonna become a habit. It's gonna become an everyday way of living. So take massive action towards what you want, your goals and your targets, your purposes and your reasons. That's going to allow you to not only just achieve what you want, but it's also gonna allow you to create time. Like I was saying earlier, we wanna be focused on creating time. And taking massive amounts of relentless, unreasonable action, hey, that's gonna allow you to create time. That's going to allow you to get more done with the time that you, that we have. And that's ultimately what we should be striving for, what we should be focused on. Step number four is to follow through and follow up. Follow through and follow up on everything that you start. If you start a task, if you start moving towards a goal or a target, if you start, you know, moving towards anything in life, you want to follow through to full completion. Because what happens is when you don't follow through to full completion, you start to get backlogged. You start to have files that keep stacking on each other. You start to have clients that keep stacking on to each other that you have to follow up with. You start to have agents that you have to continue to train that you didn't train or you didn't follow through with the actions or the steps that you you know, clearly lined out for yourself and the executives in your business. So follow through and follow up on everything that you do. This is not only going to allow you to maximize your time and be more efficient with your time, it's also going to keep you more motivated because you're not going to have a bunch of things that you halfway did sitting over in a pile or on a task objective sheet that you have to accomplish that's pulling you away from your current daily activities, right? So following through to full completion. And that's the only way we're gonna see the full results that we want and the outcome that we want. And that's the only way we're gonna be able to achieve what we want is following through to full completion. And then step number five is to continue to add more to your plate. I mentioned this earlier in the massive action part, but you wanna continue to add more to your plate. You wanna make sure that you don't have any white white you know space on your schedule you want to make sure that you're jam-packed that you're running from activity to activity to activity and this allows you to stay laser focused this allows you to create more time this allows you to get more done with your time it might seem counterintuitive that hope oh, add more to your plate you're gonna have more time when you add more to your plate absolutely the reason why is because when you add more to your plate What's gonna happen is you're gonna be laser focused. Your attention is going to be on getting things done and you're gonna be crunching time. You're going to be actually compressing time because you have so much on your plate and you're taking massive amounts of action. You know exactly what you want. You have a list of what activities and actions you need to take. You're falling through to full completion, right? As you can see, these five steps they all correlate with one another. If you try to remove one, then maximizing your time is gonna be even more difficult. So add more to your plate, continue to add more to the plate. This is gonna raise your level of motivation. This is gonna raise your level of how inspired you are. And then also, hey, it's gonna make sure that you're on your toes. It's gonna to make sure that you're on your P's and Q's. You know, you're, you're, you're literally just on your game 25-8. There's no distractions. You're gonna be able to limit distractions. You're gonna be, be able to limit things that might pull you away from moving towards what you want and your goals and targets. So hope this found you well. Gonna be starting a new series here for insurance agents and insurance business owners that are building their agency and building their organization. And make sure you use this, apply this, execute on it. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me, DM me, comment below, 
And let's continue to win. Let's continue to move forward. Talk to you guys soon. Thank mm-hmm. you.